Breaking, breaking, Bronny James did what? Now let's get to it. Where are you projecting Bronny James today? Sinead, this was a positive week in Chicago for Bronny James. He's moved into the late second round of our latest projections. We're going to have him at 54 in our next update. That's all the way from the back end of our top 100. Talking to NBA people out here, they feel like he's legitimized himself as a real NBA prospect. He's not just some kind of sideshow, you know, Bron uh, LeBron's son that, you know, the cameras are following, which that, that is the case with him. But I just... Hey, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mix. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe per usual. Those who are new to my channel, I pre-record most of my videos. I typically go live on the weekend. So head on over to the video section and check out some of my live content i thank you guys for supporting my channel yes those domestically and internationally i need for you guys to listen to this video yes listen to it from beginning to end if you're interested in donating hit that cash app right here right here right here all donations go toward content enhancement creation now let me jump right into the topic okay everyone as you can see what this video is going to be about yes Bronny james is he ready or not is he ready or not um before i continue with my commentary and reaction opinion go ahead and hit that like share and subscribe it's free to like it's free to share it's free to subscribe that is a huge way to support my channel the mix okay so Bronny james has declared the nba draft and but is he ready is he ready um uh, critics Sports heads, um, those large and small, are very skeptical. Very skeptical for my research and review, mainly because his health condition, which, to my understanding, he has overcome based off of reports, and you know he started playing again with his former college team, and then also too, they are concerned about his development, his skill set, you know, on the court. Let me just be clear, you guys, I do not follow uh, college sports like that, but I, I tap in here and there. I'm more of an NBA type of gal, especially from the era of the Jordans, the Joe Dumars, the Larry Birds, the Dennis Rodman, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, you know, Magic Johnson, E. Miller, Paul Pierce, you know, KG, Kevin Garnett. I'm just from that type of era, and that style of play was more to me, um, less Mark marshmallow puff <laughs> yes marshmallow puff you guys don't know i typically use that term sometimes uh, marshmallow puffs but i say that respectfully meaning the the league in my opinion just had just gotten soft in terms of rules and all that so it's just not as competitive in my opinion as it used to be in my era so and i'm probably telling my age but nevertheless so do you all think Bronny james is ready nba ready hmm, we shall see we shall see. he had that situation with his health last year i thought it was a wrap um i'm going to drop some links in the description section of this post because i did some content on that I said then that it's a wrap in terms of like brand wise who wants to with different brand deals sports wise who wants to put their eggs and all eggs in one basket when it comes to Bronny James and I say that respectfully uh, Emmett you know his past health condition I mean that's still in my opinion hovering over people's mind unfortunately um not to say that he can't come back and just be an all-time player overall from a professional level at a you know higher level I was floating around in my mind maybe he should do take um, the route that Shaquille O'Neal's son took um, what's his name? What was Shaquille O'Neal's son? Name on um, these kids, it's, their names hard to kind of keep up with. <laughs> and he experienced some type of like related health issue just off of a routine appointment. And so he ended up, I think, going to the G League um, afterwards. So it's, to me, in my opinion, more of a stronger prospect than uh, Bronny James. Uh, so, but nevertheless, his parents, of course, um, and he felt his health was first and foremost. And I think he took off over a year or so. So it's just interesting to see Bronny James come back. But let me go ahead and share this article I came across, yahoosports.com. I found it to be interesting in terms of scout perspective. You know, scouts usually thin and kind of, I guess, well knowledgeable. And I'm not going to say all of them because those who are in certain positions, trust me, they do not have, in some instances, not all, the, the, the knowledge, the skill set, the degree, or the experience to be scouting <laughs> and, and picking and choosing as to who's the next up or going to be the best, you know, in any type of sport. So let me go ahead and share this article. I hope you guys are having a good week thus far. Okay, this is from sports, um, yahoosports.com. Scouts think of Bronny James, NBA prospects. Okay, the article is written by Kristen Peak. This was posted on the 13th of May. Okay, um, no one endured more adversity this college basketball season than Bronny James, the six foot two guard committed to USC last spring, and the Trojans had the number two um, ranked recruiting class that included James and number one high school prospect Isaiah Collier. 
in August, Jane suffered a cardiac arrest at practice and underwent surgery. Okay, let me pause right here. Um, with this, again, like I said before, looming over one's head, I think this is also a huge factor in if um, he's totally ready for the NBA. Not just this, but like I said, a huge factor amongst other um, things. So, okay, the article for the site, he turned to the court on December 10th in a home game against Long Beach State and logged 17 minutes, finishing with four points, three rebounds, two assists, and two steals in the overtime loss. His comeback in four short months is crazy to think about after everything he went through and a testament to the work he put in to return to the team this past season. Okay, let me pause right here. That's, that is crazy. To undergo, um, I guess, a procedure and some medical attention, um, heart related, because to my understanding, I think he collapsed and wasn't um, breathing. Um, correct me if I'm wrong in the chat, you guys. And I think they had to like resuscitate him or something like that. Um, so this was a huge, a big deal, huge, huge, huge health wise. So the article further cites anytime a young man misses four months, including the first part of the season, it's hard to just start playing in December. USC head coach. Andy Ingfield told Yahoo Sports, you're behind on a variety of things, including conditioning, timing of offense and defense, the system you're trying to learn. Also, the article for the sites is ready. It's really hard as a freshman, but I give him a ton of credit. He showed up every day, folks. He works extremely hard and is a great teammate. The article for the sites found that the NBA's draft order has been determined and James has been officially cleared to play in the league by the fitness to play panel, likely keeping him in the draft. There's one question left to answer. What truly are James NBA prospects? Hmm. Drop some comments in the chat. What do you all think? What do you all think? Article further cites that as it could evolve this week at F combined with James set to participate in five on five scrimmages. He will also participate in measurements and interviews with teams. The article further cites it's clear James needs more development before he contributes to any NBA roster, but there have been many players drafted in the past with similar stat lines to Bronny who have developed in the G League. Keep that in mind, you guys. I mentioned that earlier, G League. Getting reps and adjusting to the pace and the physicality of the NBA game. Okay, let me hop down. I'm not going to go through this entire article. Let me point in on this paragraph. He's a very smart player and has a solid feel for the game. What NBA scout told Yahoo Sports. He needs more time to develop, but the fundamental mechanics are there. James has until May 29th to decide whether to remain in the NBA, in the draft. If he doesn't, he could commit to a new school through the NCAA's transfer portal. I think he'll probably stay in this draft. What NBA executive told Yahoo Sports. Should he go back for another year? Probably but but teams will take a serious look at him this year if he decides to stay in that this draft class. Bronny is far from a finished product and has always been a player who doesn't rush the development process. He was patient with his growth at Sierra Can Canyon High School in Essen, California, and was named a McDonald's All-American, one of the highest honors for high school basketball players his senior year. It's an honor he proved he earned outside of LeBron's James son. During the All-Star game, Bronny hits five three-pointers and added four assists with his family sitting courtside. Okay, the article further cites the deciding factor for Bronny will be based on whether he wants to continue to develop against his peers at the college level or get reps in the G League um, playing with NBA rules and spacing. In a now deleted tweet from February 20, February um, of this year on the 26th, LeBron weighed in on the speculation and criticism surrounding his son saying, hey, y'all please just let the kid be a kid and enjoy college basketball. LeBron wrote, the work and results will ultimately do the talking no matter what he decides to do. The article for the size of 2024 NBA draft is considered to be a weak class. Keep that in mind. So all the big sport wigs are saying that the 2024 NBA draft is considered to be a weak class, meaning I, I'm assuming the weakest class that's ever graced um, the league. Hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is this the weakest class, you guys, that's ever graced the NBA from a professional high-level league? Okay, the article for the sites, there is no consistency on a number one pick. There will be plenty of movement on team draft boards between now and June 26th. It's also worth noting that the Los Angeles Lakers have the 55th pick in the draft and could be heavy favored to take Bronny. Okay, the article for the sites, Bronny and LeBron could make history as the first father-son duo to share an NBA court. Collier, which is um, the, I guess, the highest player um, prospect, a potential lottery pick in this year's draft, thinks his former teammate also could be ready to begin his pro career. Ronnie's grown a lot this year. Collier told Yahoo Sports, college ball is definitely hard for everyone coming in as a freshman and especially what he went through. People don't know how hard he works. He's unselfish and he's a smart player. Boom.
Okay, you guys. Okay, so what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Drop some comments in the chat. Interesting article. Um, they focused on, of course, the the, the development aspect. Um, of course, they touched on his health um situation challenge he encountered last year. Bronnie James also and pointed in on the father and son, James, James and Bronnie possibly playing on the same team. So um, yeah. So what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? I, in my opinion, I think from a father-son perspective of playing together trying to make history i do believe there's a little bit of pressure possibly yes a little bit of pressure for Bronny james to declare the draft which he did and to remain uh, in there let me just speak a little quickly to what i've read and came across from the sports streets <laughs> even outside of the internet space how i was um told that really has the skill set the talent the height the athleticism is the younger son bryce that is who to look out for. That is who is a threat. Do you all agree? Again, this is based off of reports I've read, I've come across over the year or so, past year or so, and then from people um, and you know outside of the internet, you know, just pointing in on this conversation. So, do you all agree? Do you agree? I don't watch um, Bryce James play, and I haven't, but I've heard that he is the son that has the um, best prospects NBA wise. So. But yeah, so yeah, I, I think that there is some pressure with um, Bronny. I just, I, I think, honestly, in my opinion, he came back too fast off of the medical um, situation, especially, he, I, I, like I said, correct me if I'm wrong, um, he wasn't breathing, right? He wasn't breathing. So to be back at it within four months or something like that, quote unquote, it's quite interesting. I, I think it's some pressure there. Um, but let me know your thoughts. Do you think Bronny James is NBA ready? Do you think there's pressure from Pops, from LeBron James? Um, do you think teams are kind of skeptical because of his health condition last year which has been resolved uh, as they say it has let me know your thoughts down in the chat if a team picks him up you guys in my opinion i believe they will be picking him up box office tickets meaning with the with the potential of his dad joining the team so that's money that's revenue that's revenue you know so yeah also too if they if teams are skeptical to pick them up it would be in my opinion mainly because of the development and that health situation that occurred last year is probably hovering over their heads these are these teams they're about making money let's just keep it real you know it's a nba is a professional organization it, it's about making money it's about high performance it's about the brand it's about making history in whatever way shape or form or capacity they feel for the direction they want their organization to go so it's going to be interesting to see how this all plays out i mean I don't see why it would be so much pressure because, you know, his dad has money and he could go into another sector or another field, in my opinion, you know, in terms of you know, maybe become a coach, you know, um, maybe run plays, it, it, maybe become a sportscaster, maybe have his own podcast uh, instead of risking, possibly risking, you know, your um, his life. Possibly, I say possibly, because like I said, they said all is clear with him um, health wise. He's clear to play. And, and that's a great thing. That's a great thing. And it, and it could be just, you know, a miracle that I don't know the logistics of his health, but it could be a miracle that he is prepared to play physically um, and health wise, you know, so um, and he could go on to develop and become a top tier player. So, but yeah, so let me know your thoughts, you guys down in the chat, like this video, share this video, and thank you guys for tuning into the mix. I will talk to y'all soon. Bye.